Hey, this is Mike Long, and welcome back inside the Area 51 of the Relationship World. Now, we've been talking about subcommunication, and uh, the idea of subcommunication is that, that yes, what we say does matter, uh, but it only matters but so much. Maybe, uh, maybe a quarter or a fifth of, uh, of sparking attraction really is, is verbal or, or what we're saying, but then the other 75-80% is vocal tonality, uh, facial expressions, how we move. And so how do we organize all that stuff? Well, I think that one of the things that people find really valuable about mystery uh, isn't just hearing what he says, but uh, but also just kind of experiencing um, experiencing him. And uh, again, he's really a master at what he does. He's had so much success. Um, but there's also the philosophy that underlies what he's doing. Uh, that, that's really the the premise or the basis of things. So uh, this is a uh, a selection from a, a five thousand dollar per person uh, seminar that Mystery ran in in Los Angeles, and uh, we're going to get inside of Mystery's approach, both psychological and, of course, how it is that he approaches women. Okay. Now where was I? group theory. Here's how you approach a set. Imagine there's three people. What I'd like to ultimately do is get, is, is rather buy the opportunity, purchase the opportunity to sit with that one hottie. If there was some magical way I could get everyone away you know, almost like, a, like in a, that 70s show where the lights dim and it becomes kind of like a dream sequence, right? All I want to do is I see the three set, she's gorgeous, I want a light to go on her, shining, and I want all the other people in, in that, uh, that group to just fly away, just go away, and I'm with her. And then I want there to, to appear someplace I could sit with her and I could build Kino Escalation. Somehow I want to get her away from that location to another one and another one and another one, holding hands with her and Kino escalating. That's the fantasy. Tra-la-la land, where she's accepting all my IOIs, my indicators of interest, and, uh, and building a, what we call a multiple venue loop. You see, the more memories she has of me in different locations, the, uh, the more comfort she's going to feel for me. She's going to feel like she really knows me when it comes time for you know, some sexual activity, she will uh, think to herself, do I know this guy? And all these different floods of, of uh, locations with me will pop into her mind. Better to hang out with one girl for uh, five hours in five different locations than for five hours in one location, right? Mm. Could that be in like one setting, like a club, like a patio, and like different Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Can you repeat it one more time for me? To one setting, such as like uh, five different places in one location, like a patio, the DJ booth, or you know. All right. So what I'll do is I'll go into that. Right, so no, you, but you have to repeat the question. For the I don't have to. If I'm just going to go into it, the the whole topic. Oh, okay. All right. Right. All right. Mm. I'd like to make this as as. I'll try that again. I'd like to make this as informal as we can. Unfortunately, we're all uh, like this. So I don't know what parts. Now you're throwing the cameras back to me is I don't, I don't, I'm not going to do a syllabus for this because I don't know what you want for those cameras. Uh, we can tell you what to, what to talk about. Oh, great. Well, here, here, gentlemen, here's what's going to take place. I'm going to make you pick up artists. All right. Clear out, simple, you're going to have a pickup artist inside your head that you can turn on when needed to get the girl and then turn off when you don't need. Like a circuit in your head. And it's going to know how to turn on the attraction mechanism that is hardwired into a woman's head. It is not pseudoscience. We incorporate the concepts of sexual psychology into a very lovely little system. We backwards engineer how the brain works, why it was designed the way it was designed, 
so that we could understand her, better understand ourselves. You know, there are more similarities among men and women than there are differences. We just have to, uh, you know, focus on the similarities so that we can understand who she is and how she behaves, what her behavioral system is like based on ours. And then there are specific nuances that uh, differentiate us. And we're going to zoom into that too, why it is behaviorally women act a certain way versus another. I'm a very rational, logical, grounded human being. Really, I am. Perhaps you'll discover that in the next few days. I don't have wild uh, beliefs that are absolutely outrageous. I'm going to stick to a scientific methodology. And I'm going to apply it to getting girls. All right. Well, there's uh, a lot of stuff that uh, Mystery covered there, but uh, I think that one of the things that, that really surprised me uh, as I got to know Eric, as I got to know Mystery, is that he really does, uh, he really does see things scientifically and logically. Um, but he, uh, he's also learned to harness his emotions. And the way he's done that is he really chunks things down. He really understands, you know, for, for example, with group theory, the idea of group theory is really being able to see individuals and being able to see that part of what goes on with an individual is their emotional tie and connection to groups, uh, to, to groups that they're hanging out with, to other individuals that they're hanging out with. Uh, that way, you know, Mr. can respectfully uh, pry somebody off of that group and then take them on uh, a, a ride with him, uh, an experience that they can enjoy and kind of go along with. So, uh, you know, I hope that you enjoyed this, uh, this short clip. We'll be back with, uh, with more on uh, the way that mystery sees things and more on approach very, very soon. Really appreciate all your thank yous and, and likes and comments. And uh, I will see you in the next video clip.